Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Festive Parrot, and happy birthday to you, Festive Parrot. You said it was your birthday, and I think it's a little late, though, cause, you know, when I'm making this video, but happy late birthday and stuff, and guess what? Today's my birthday, too. I just turned 40. Anyway, this is a video uploaded by Channel Awesome, and the name of this video is Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Nostalgia Critic. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. All right, warning. Parts of this video have repetitive flashing lights that can cause seizures and something. Okay, then there's your warning. It's Nostalgia Critic drugs. About Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Power Rangers. He's so weird. You know, I kind of like the old style. You didn't have to add all this fancy shit. I saw Angry Joe. How come I always uh, request Angry Joe? And he does reviews on games. People like video games, right? Shit. Hello. I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. And it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. I know yeah, a lot yeah. of you are expecting me to have some sort of big explosion of joy and cheer like I do all the other years, but yeah, no, a lot set of people up. have been saying that was kind of scary and not really keeping in the Christmas spirit. What? So, to keep me more relaxed, yeah, a little fire I have going. a chill pill patch, so it'll keep me completely under control. <laughs> wow. So, this year, things are going to be a bit more traditional. Let's we see. a fireplace, decorations, yep. we even have snow. Oh, Gia's frozen Gia's. I have Gia's. no idea how that's possible. I don't even know your house. Hello, Malcolm and Tamara. Got some cookies and eggnog for us this holiday season? Yes, to relax us in this time if this isn't right. Huh? What? This is Christmas. You should be able to celebrate it however you want to. <laughs> Sorry, Tamara, but I don't want to scare the sweet people at home what with my fuck? disturbing obsession. I want to be relaxed, soothing, marketable. No, just go back to being yourself. Yeah, you were here the previous years. Trust me, this is for the best. Oh, I don't know what right. you're referring to. I've seen so many nostalgia creative videos, so. And seeing how we are having a much more calm and subdued Christmas, we're gonna celebrate with a traditional, calm, subdued Christmas special. Oh no. Here's here a little we go. ditty I like to call Grandma Got Run Over by a Rain. Oh, yep. Mostly because it's called Grandma Got Run Over by a Rain. Yeah, it used to be a song. Yeah, and they made a movie about it. It only fits that a Christmas song you wish you never knew about would be given a Christmas special you wish you never knew about. Fucking Since its shit. release in 2000, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer has gotten a lot of talk as being one of the most memorably dumb holiday specials ever. They thought it was a good idea and to make. Well, it's not say Christmas tree bad, it is fascinating in some of the choices it makes. What are those choices you may ask? Fuck? Well, get ready for a cup of holiday awkwardness. This is Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And you're reviewing this The film opens shit. with a narration by the singer of the song, Elmo Shropshire, sounding an awful lot like the opening of the fabulous Secret Powers video. It's Secret the Christmas Powers. season. A time for telling colorful holiday stories. Hi there, I'm Grams <laughs> of Eternity. Of course he sings the wow, song while man. we watch our future roadkill walk to her enchanted hit and run. And honestly, I know I'm gonna sound really weird and perverted for saying it, but Grandma's kinda hot. She's kinda Don't hot. Don't give me that! Okay, I swear I'm not so you're into those the G milfs or rather call her. Just take away two lines, change the hair, maybe lose the glasses. She's kind of a bombshell. I don't got know a young old face. women the director's been looking at, but are they single? Where's the you're wrinkles? You're thinking the same thing! But as for the shit. So he thinks grandma's hot. Grandma you know what videos he's been, been looking up? That grandma and porn. As incredible as that was, <laughs> it almost put an end to Christmas. I love how he describes his grandma being pummeled as incredible and then so she follows got ran it up over. with the actual bad news that it almost ended Christmas. I think this guy's uh. way too accepting of violence to the elderly. It was December, and everyone in Cityville was caught up this in the chaos movie, of the man. holidays. Yeah, that's right. The town is called Cityville. Isn't that the place where the Powerpuff Girls fight crime? I know! 
It's a joke. Well, I live in Freaksville. And if you think that's bad, take a listen to what the last a name bunch of, of our freaks main characters hang around. Are. And that's me, Jake Spankenheimer. Spankenheimer? What? That sounds like a German porno that takes place at an SM dungeon. Guten Tag, I am Spankenheimer, and this is my lava, fuck big nugent. <laughs> So it looks like Grandma owns a shop that even Cracker Barrel would call excessive, where she reads to the kids Cracker while the Barrel. rest of her family takes care of the customers. But her grandson, named Jake, is struggling with the idea that maybe Santa Claus doesn't exist. Oh, he exists. <gasps> Adding He's a Christmas son of a bitch. Uh, I remember when I had a random poster of a mule on my wall. It was right next to the globe that no kid has ever owned, yet for some reason <laughs> keeps popping up in kids' room cliches. They must think that's what Santa kids Claus are... Is real. I don't know. Well, there is no easy answer. Uh, historically, there was a Saint Nick who, with a loving heart, filled children's shoes with Ugh. gifts of all sorts. All right. So Talk about the real story of Santa. Represents the true meaning of Christmas, giving to others. Saint Nick was it really Santa Claus? See, that's funny because um, his name was just I'm Saint. I'm pretty Nick. sure you want to get across that Santa exists in this world. Yeah. Seeing how it's called, Grandma got run over by a reindeer, and you literally just dashed this kid's dreams by bringing up the Saint Nick stuff. I know. It, We're four fucking minutes in, and already you have no idea what your mythology is. How old are kind these kids? The illusion, doesn't it? I don't they don't look like they, would, they well should be believing in Santa Claus at that age world. anyway. And so Even three is real. were given to the elves, who were cookie makers led by Will Ferrell. Seven to the dwarves, who were miners best known for their harmonizing. And the rest were given to... Oh, I gosh. don't know, there's no easy answer. But there's a wizard who works at Hogwarts and a little person who this lives This is Lord the of the Rings. Now, if you'll excuse what the, me, in, in I have to eat lunch. Oh, oh mm. okay. Oh, that's good not caring. <sighs> Dad? Is Santa Claus real? Uh, uh, yes, he's real, what bitch. Your said. Hey, who wants the to kids are not supposed to believe. Oh, Christmas tree. Yeah, Never mind. I don't want to say it. This video's taking all my brains You're out. You're looking at the new inflatable Christmas tree manufactured by the Cityville Own All Corporation. Uh, what the fuck? Is the top of that tree looking a little phallic to anyone Now that else? you point it out, I can see Ooh, it. That just hurts. We had to chop our trees down by hand. Never forget the time I had to use a beaver for a chainsaw. What? Last time you told it, it was a woodpecker. So let me get this straight. What the fuck? A penis-shaped tree is reminding <laughs> you of the time where you confused a beaver for a pecker. Oh, <laughs> The song yep. would be a lot more interesting if you included this stuff in it. They're not. The next they, day, they, they want to tell you more, though. Even though lighting-wise, there's no reason he should be like that. Who's the CEO of Own All Corp? Presumably a division of Google and Disney. Grandma says you own everything. Well, not yet. But that's why I want to speak to your grandma. I want to buy her. Right now, Grandma what? Elfenheimer is reading to the kids. I heard about that. Say, you wouldn't happen to have an extra elf costume I could wear. I he always wear elf dress costume? like strange characters when conducting business deals. You okay. should see what I wore when I tried to get the rights to Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, hell no. I've heard did. of that movie. What the fuck? You'd be selling to the biggest and the best. Do you know why my company controls Keep every the kids away. sidewalk Santa? Because as the past voice of a Ninja Turtle, I know firsthand that you can market anything. <laughs> what? Your store sits on the perfect place to build the crown you sound of like my somebody empire. I've heard. Gifts delivered on Christmas Eve by our new Slaymobile. I could also make her obvious commentary stronger by putting Kirk Cameron on top of it. Jake, do you think I should sell the store? Are you kidding? I love this place. Whoa! What happened to his eyes there? I love this place. Jesus Ooh. Christ, that's fucking scary! Yeah, it looks it like is. the mask a movie serial killer would wear. Oh no, my education. But another family member named Cousin Mel, played by Michelle Lee, thinks Grandma is crazy for not selling. Grandma, if this store were mine, I'd sell it. Cousin Mel, this store will never be yours. Oh yeah! Cause of my uh, I don't know if that was really oh yeah worthy. I think it was. Yeah, I tell you, kid, the shit I the fuck up. Just said something worthy. The way I see it, you can divide the world into two groups: people who like fruitcake, and all the rest. I, of them. Osborne loves like, fruitcake. Fruit cake. What does liking fruitcake have to do with any? Holidays were upon us. Really? This is warranting of a song. Grandma's killer fruitcake. Your 
so obviously not interested in what your characters are going through that you uh, gave a song uh, to a fucking fruitcake? This is like that Who's Lies cake, Anyway Tom. game where you have to make up a song out of a random word you just said. So then my grandmother made fruitcake and... Oh, really? Oh, the fruitcake, fruitcake, the funny thing of the fruitcake! This is stupid as shit. Is that a dick? So, oh, what'd you do mom. today, Frank? Well, I animated the state of Kentucky belching. Kentucky. Living the dream. <sighs> so Grandma gets ready to take her that to no the community sense. services building, presumably trying to get on the cover of Mother Teresa Weekly, as the song quite obnoxiously sings what they're already verbally telling head. us. She'd been drinking too much eggnog. You've been drinking too much eggnog. Oh my god, I can't and believe they took the song and made this big. shitty Ooh, fucking film. Big. But she forgot her medication. Besides, I left my medication at the store. And out the door into oh, the snow. Yeah. This is pissing me off. Didn't like this part. I don't like this part. We yeah, sing it about so your life. What, are we gonna dictate parts? What the hell are you doing? That's stupid. I'm singing That's... what you are saying. Why? It's like putting yeah, the wow. Adam West theme in the Dark Knight. There's no reason for it. Well, they're good enough on their own. All we got's a grand milf to bone. Will you stop trying to make old ladies hot? We have <laughs> it. Okay, forget it! Just kill them. What was I hoping to accomplish talking to you? Nothing. As expected, Santa comes a knocking on Granny's temple and conks her literally out cold. You Did he run over? No her? Thing as Santa. She dead. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Yeah, yeah, she dead. I guess I don't know. And that's the special, kids. Her funeral was three days late. <laughs> no, no, if only it was that simple. Yeah. No, the special keeps going as Jake tries to tell everybody what he saw. Santa Claus is flying low like Santa this, Claus must have been drunk as fuck. Like this, and a girl oh, ho, ho, ho. must have had a bad dream. In case you haven't noticed, Frank, your son suffers from a dreaded affliction. What's what she doing here? The Santa Claus is real syndrome. He's got all the symptoms. Writing list to Santa. Okay, guys, while you're having this friendly little chat, there is an old lady face yeah. down in the snow freezing to death. I don't think the boy should be as comfortably calm as he is. This family's sick. But strangely enough, when they open the door, Grandma appears to be gone. That's right, officer. Missing. Got rid of the evidence, man. Took Santa the body sleep. off. Yes, we've been drinking eggnog. Alvin, stop impersonating a Cityville cop. Son of a bitch. He there actually is told him that. Impossible. Right here in the manual. There's no such thing as Santa Claus. Is too. We oh, it says it right in the cop's book. Santa Claus's real syndrome family dispute. Wow, the Saturday morning version of Fargo is a lot more different than this I thought. This world it. is retarded. Though the special man. could be saved with Grandma. Vegeta, Lynch. Final Flash. What appears to be an impression of a person in the snow. Look there, but uh, how do we know it's Grandma? My God, a ransom note from Santa it says if you want to see Grandma alive, you'll hand over all the cookies. Oh, I'd okay. I'd like to know where Grandma is. <laughs> Good point. We can she hid the note. Angle later. Better get looking for the old broad. Wait a minute. Did she just say looking for the old broad? Better get looking for the old broad. What the hell kind of family special is this? Oh, what Somehow we get said. the feeling the original song didn't have such choice lyrics. The old broad got run over by a reindeer. Lousy bitch was blind. Yeah, he just hit her right straight on. on. Cut, on cut, 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 what? Cut. What? So after literally months go by. Months. Yeah, sort of a Christmas and a half special. They declare Grandma officially dead and yeah, walk around the house in funeral long. clothes. Clearly with the sister going through something. As the business starts to fade Where does she come presence. from? That's the so first time I've Mel seen her. So Cousin Mel tries to sell the store, but C.E. Leo tells her that she can't without Grandpa Geppetto's signature. So Geppetto. she takes him out and tries to force him to sign. Like him. It's right here in these papers. All you have to do is sign. Sing? No, sign. Sure. So sign. I'd rather sing. So you made him stupid as fuck. Grandma spending. Wow. Fucking <sighs> wow. I thought the fruitcake transition was bad, but that is by far the worst segue to a song ever conceived. Any I mean, excuse to amazing. Sing. You put no thought or effort into that transition whatsoever. This movie has no you thought or effort. You just jumped without a parachute and didn't care at all what the consequences would be. 
All right then, just sign. Did you say it's been one week since you looked at me, cocked your head to the side, said I'm angry, five days since you laughed at me, saying get that together, come back and see me? Oh, God. No, just... I said sign. Oh. Oh, no. Did you know I got a music video crew ready to go, <laughs> lights, camera, the whole thing. That don't thing. happen just... in life, man. Well, I didn't say that. Well, I feel silly. Yeah, you're a fuck talk. Oh, an extra point for including a shot of her undies flying off. Because, Lord knows, after the old broad line, we just had to level this is out a with something more family cartoon friendly. for kids. No, I need fuck? a break from weird sexualized grannies. I'm gonna go look up some proper Christmas porn. We know that's what you're watching. Ooh, you, jingle you like balls grandma all the porn. way. And Schwarzenegger's in it. Oh, yeah, I think I know what that is. <sighs> jingle all the way? Was that the one with Arnold? Okay. Why does it take so long to get back so to So Grandpa signs the papers after hearing his dumbass song, which comes Big to the tips. dismay of Jake. I'm going over to see Austin Bucks and sell this dump for millions. Millions? This place was worth millions, millions. the whole time? Grandpa, how could you do that? What do you Shut mean, how could he do that? Up. Fucking millions, you little idiot! Yeah, how, how, how much, though? I've got to stop. More than a million? Why? Think of all the people you can help! Think of all the hungry you can feed! Think of all the millions. charities you could give to. Are you saying you'd rather read stories to one, two, three, three kids and serve one, two, three, four, five, six customers as opposed to help thousands and thousands of people not go to bed hungry They're not tonight? thinking straight. I think Both. Grandma's actually fucking insane. Millions. But nevertheless, we gotta keep her tradition alive and well as Jake tries to talk to Mel's lawyer. Please don't buy Grandma's store. He's skating in there. Kid, cousin Mel's attorney. I am slime. You said it, not me. What? What? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. Get the fuck out Did of this Do they really shit? think people would be laughing so hard at that line? They actually needed a pause for it. Did they work hours on that line? Did they think people would just be in an uproar over the amount of laughter that they were producing? You said it, not me. Oh, sorry, the applause sign was broken. <laughs> so, of all Fuck people, C.E. Leo thinks up the most obvious thing that the kid can do. If you really believe Grandma was run over by Santa's reindeer, then find him. He should know where Grandma is. Yeah, go find okay, Santa. I will. Yeah, and just a mere nine months later, just he's like finally that. doing what he should have been doing from day fucking one. To Santa Claus at SantaClausIsReal.com. He writes an uh. email to Santa, which, now that I think about it, how old can the grown up version of this kid telling the story be if there's goddamn email in it? And Santa <laughs> eventually gets it. Sure enough, it turns out Santa had grandma the whole time. And when I say had, I don't mean in that way. I think. Yeah, we don't have I mean, proof, man. She claims she has amnesia, but were there no other hospitals to take her to? No police stations? His only recourse was to whisk her off all the way to the fucking North Pole? Hell, I'm not she you knows about. who everyone in the world is, so couldn't he, through deduction, figure out where she lives? Yeah, it's he should have like figured it out. not like she was away from the house. I mean, by God, nine fucking months of signs and milk cartons and Santa never came across any of that? He's a Even the signs ass. I can kind of understand, but the milk cartons? The fucking milk cartons? Milk and cookies? Hello? Kind of his thing? I think Maybe he's you would know there's a goddamn reason. carton or two! I don't know. Grandma Spankenheimer? Nope, never matter. I but you might ask one else. of those short fellers. Classic case of amnesia. Can't remember a thing. Wait, is it me or does Santa sound Jewish? If I could meet just one stinking person who understands the holidays... <laughs> this oh. raises so many puzzling questions. This is like the Christmas Da Vinci Code. Christmas so one of the elves man. goes to tell Jake that his grandma is okay. You're an elf. Creepy elf. The genuine article. What the fuck's that? <laughs> well, that was a confusing parody. Should we what? throw in some random Wizard of Oz references while we're at it? I don't Would know, you like man. This film sucks. Grandma, then follow me. So all the all the elves. And who the fuck Greenleaf Creepy is, Bill, gather around to see the reunion of Jake and his grandma. But grandma still has amnesia. It's me, Jake. Don't you remember? Eh, uh, nope. 
Nothing. Oh, okay, Show her, her Tweety Bird. That'll jog her memory. So Tweety even bird. though she still doesn't remember, she agrees to go with Jake and Santa to stop the store from being sold. But Cousin Mel C's grandma decides to kidnap her. What? I guess she's just kind of used to it after being held hostage for nine months. Grandma! We couldn't find her anywhere. God, I hate this This, kid. of course, leads to one logical conclusion. Since Grandma is nowhere to be found, and the man in the red suit here admitted he Santa Claus, wear your hat. The man that you have Santa arrested for the disappearance of Grandma. Wait, what? Arrested, really? Uh, I don't think that would be the headline. The real headline would be, <laughs> holy shit, Santa Claus is real. Scientists study flying reindeer for advanced warfare. Supernatural powers. Meanwhile, our two villains hold on to a surprisingly accepting of her kidnapping grandma. Okay, yeah, just big, because she has kidnapping. amnesia doesn't mean she'll do anything. An older person wouldn't just stay locked up in a cabin with no questions asked. Unless you're in this cabin next door, but I just don't ask questions with that guy. Watch Walter there. Santa Claus must be worth a fortune. Your share as Grandpa's financial advisor is... Woof. Woof? Woof. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> looks like the animators took another toke break and accidentally sent the wrong footage to the studio you got again. Stupid Are there again. any song sequences that don't look like bad flash animation e-cards? Could you just see someone sending this to a co-worker? The cost me nothing but to send you. Who is that? <laughs> Happy birthday, Connie. The courthouse where okay. the sensational Santa Claus trial is reaching its climax. District Attorney Hartung is making his impassioned summation. Okay, Hartung, really? Fucking Hartung, for fuck's sake, are there any names in this world that aren't fitting character traits given by two Fucking year olds? Garbage, Your man. Honor, Black Judge, Boy McCrazy Pupil. The evidence proves Santa Claus is responsible for Grandma's disappearance. So, if the beard fits, you must convict. What? Well, that doesn't date this at all. Oh, at man, I'm getting dizzy-headed, folks. But Jake finds his grandma, jogs her memory, and brings her to the jury of Dilbert caricatures to explain their case. If you and the jury would taste this fruitcake... This fucking creepy-ass bitch. This one was made by grandma using her special ingredients. Taste it, and then compare it to the pieces of cake found at the Why do I want to see him get crime? killed? I think you will find a difference between the two. Now, I may be an old-fashioned lawyer child, but I do say if the cake tastes like shit, you must acquit. <laughs> oh, we referenced that already? Oh, okay, how about this one? Um, smoking! No, that's the Myers. And I gotta say, for a special obviously made for seven-year-olds, there is a lot of court talk in the last well, five no, minutes no, of this film. Who wants to hear that I shit? Object. This is a note Santa left at the accident scene. Slay Hickler negligence. State's evidence number 12. Under the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. Dust it for fingerprints. Do they honestly think they have to represent the justice system as properly as this possible? This is supposed to be about Grandma get run over really a reindeer. going to question the legal ramifications of Grandma got fucking run over by a reindeer? All right, I admit it. I hid the note. And she admitted it. And I made Grandpa sign over his rights to the store. And I'm this evil trial. Why is he and talking? And I hate the goody goody feelings of Christmas. Wow, saying the word and really seems to be the ultimate truth serum. And it and keeps. I got a sex change when I was twenty. And <laughs> and I'm responsible no. for killing JFK. And and I like shiza with puppies while shoving candy corn up my anus and licking a lollipop made out of the flavored tears of orphan children. What? Okay, there's something wrong with you, Dim. And stop! Arrest this woman for obstructing justice and almost ruining Christmas. She almost what ruined you Christmas for everybody. And stupid. There's more to life than a little money, you know. <laughs> Who's that talking? Don't you know that? And just to bookend the story, I guess, they decide to run over the old broad once again. What? What? No, they didn't. What? Well, okay, they did. That's gonna kill her. She never woke up. That's fucking stupid, man. So that was Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. It's about as good as the song. It's totally pointless and Should've never been made. Asked, which is strange seeing how the director has done some other good holiday stuff in the past. Garfield? But I will say there is something kind of comical to just 
How I just think it's stupid. Dale. From a song to you this, just can't really... believe how lazy the segues are. What cutouts the characters were made, and how utterly unnecessary everything in this special is. This I is not special. In that sense, it is kind of worth seeing just to this witness how that you lose your brain cells. a commercial knockoff of an already pretty annoying song can be. But if you're looking it, for something it, it to never truly to happen. over this holiday, might I recommend Kahlua and Eggnog? No, I ain't drinking eggnog. Get that shit I out of here. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm so sorry I couldn't have my traditional over-the-top reaction to Christmas this year, but like every element of our media says, it should be calm, <laughs> relaxing, soothing, Yeah, there was nothing relaxing about this. Silly. Just like Grandma got run over by a reindeer. So, Twice. from all of us to you, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. No! Critic, this isn't right. You shouldn't repress yourself during the holidays. You don't know what you're doing. You should be able to express yourself however you want. Tamara, stop! He, he's on the, the drugs, man. Free! Tamara, what have you done? Oh, no. shit. No one should have to hold back their feelings on Christmas. Christmas is about love, beauty, and the acceptance of your- What the fuck? He's the Joker. Oh, is that the flashing lights you were talking about? I'm full of Christmas scenes. Oh no, not this. I don't know what it is, but it's no, hot. come on. It's like heaven. The it's review is over. This is not necessary. And when I put my Santa hat on, it's a needle for what is Christmas. He, what are you supposed to be? Coding my house in frilly shit in Disney trademark intellectual property. This is fucking ah! stupid. It's snowing, I'm shopping, and I pop up, 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 fucking love Christmas. Setting up. The video would have been just fine without this fucking segment here. Christmas. Christmas Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ, I'm the electric guitar! Really? He has electric guitar? You want? You want? God damn it, you die for your sin! I'll buy all things red and green. Are you a hail? You cannot be taught. Oh, it ruined my life, making it the best Christmas yet. Oh, yeah. This guy suffered through it, I guess. Christmas cheer. It'll scare the shit out of you, but it's only getting bigger every year. This, this don't need to be any of his videos, man. Might be the, the chipmunks one. That's for Rudolph. What the fuck? Christmas story till you're solid dead. I'm soaking in sweet toppings. And I fuck, 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 fucking love Christmas. And the deals. And the deals. this, my deals. Keep it longer. Make it stronger. Nothing's wrong here. I can stay here all year. Maybe you should give me your number, Tamara. Something's tasty. At the Macy's downtown. Getting high. Feeling wired. I'm inspired. I'm on fire right now. 20% off. Man, how much fucking longer is this? God damn. I want to smash it open to its different gold and it's searching free for its Christmas gold. You don't look like no Santa Claus. I lose control and the Christmas madness will take its toll. No. Point. Don't ever fucking do that again! I'm sorry! What he has is a sickness. That can only He's be never cured by showed that part of him before. Tranquilizers. Yeah, that was fucking scary! It's snowing. Oh. Shopping, okay. And I fa 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 fucking love Christmas. Enough to build tranquilizers. That's enough of that, man. That has nothing to do with Christmas. Wait a minute. What did you say? I'll kill anyone not celebrating with me. Your resistance is feeding my insanity. Cause it's snowing. I love shopping. So put the star on top of the tree and buy me a fucking... The video, so it's been over for a long time. It's unnecessary shit happening. <sighs> Boy, that did feel good. Thanks so much, you guys. Hey, Jesus. No.
Cause it's snowing I love shopping <laughs> And I pop 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 I love Christmas I love those stuff Oh shit Merry shit, Christmas Get the shit out of me Cause I'm fucking bet you crazy about Christmas The fuck goes up the ending red, here And I quote Christmas story Till your soul is dead Cause I'm soaking in sweet toppings And I fuck 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 King love Christmas Come on man That takes you a few points down So there you go everyone, if y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description, go check it out and shit, I'm getting the fuck out of here, so there you go. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.